Hey everyone, and welcome to Chronological Clarification, where I try to clear up any confusion that you may have had around popular game franchises. Over the past few weeks, I've been doing a lot of research about multiple game series to talk about on the show, and there was one that I found especially confusing, which was the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle series, or just Crazy Castle for short. So today, let's delve deep into the game's history and attempt to clarify any misinformation. In 1984, the game company Kemco was created. Located in Japan, they found success early on by being one of the first studios to develop games for the Famicom, or otherwise known as the NES. While they created original IPs, they're also known for creating games based off popular movies and cartoons. One of the game licenses Kemco received was for Roger Rabbit in 1989. In their game, you had to venture throughout stages to collect all the hearts to continue on. But while attempting to make it through the levels, enemies would wander around, and if you made contact with them, you'd die, which adds an extra layer of strategy to the game. Because Kemco only had the rights for Roger Rabbit in Japan, they instead got a hold of Bugs Bunny for America, and with a few cosmetic changes, they released Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle in the US. So with the basic groundwork for the Crazy Castle series started, they moved on to other games. Shortly after the NES version, a Game Boy adaptation was developed for both North America and Europe for Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. But instead of calling it Roger Rabbit in Japan, they instead decided to use Mickey Mouse because the Roger Rabbit film was old news by this point. Next, a new game was added to the franchise entitled Mickey Mouse 2 in Japan, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 2 in America, and for Europe they released two versions of the game, one based on the cartoon character Yugo, and the other called Mickey Mouse. So they basically made four variations of the same exact game. While I wouldn't consider it a part of the Crazy Castle series per se, a platformer called Mickey Mouse 3 was made for Japan, then released as Kid Clown in Nightmare World, a Kemco original character, for the American version, but this game plays nothing like the others with it being more of a traditional platformer. But since it's numbered into the Mickey Mouse series, I need to mention it. Kemco went back to its Crazy Castle game format with Mickey Mouse 4. But instead of going with Bugs Bunny for the American version, they instead used the rights they held to the real Ghostbusters. Then for Europe, they changed the sprites around again to make Garfield Labyrinth. It's actually pretty funny that they created versions with the Ghostbusters and Garfield, since in the Ghostbusters animated show, the character played by Bill Murray in the movie was voiced by Lorenzo Music, who was also the original voice actor for Garfield. But for the live-action Garfield films, guess who just so happened to voice Garfield? Bill Murray. Next up, Kemco created Mickey Mouse 5 The Magic Stick, but this time around they actually had the rights to Disney characters for the US, so they released it here as Mickey Mouse Magic Wands, and there was no release in Europe. In 1997, Kemco released the next Crazy Castle game with them using their own original character Kid Clown again, and the original Japanese title for it when translated is literally, Let's Go Kid, Go Go Kid. But in America and Europe, we know it as Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 3. Because Kemco felt like it, I guess, they also released the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 3 version of the game in Japan later on, even though they never got the first two other than an obscure cartridge called Bugs Bunny Collection, which had the first two Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle games on it, but I couldn't find much more information about it other than that. Next for the Game Boy Color, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 4 was released in both North America and Japan, but it was never released in Europe. So at this point, Europe only had Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 1 and 3, but they never released 2 or 4 there. I guess they have something against even numbers. In 2002, Kimco decided that they finally wanted to wrap up the Crazy Castle series after over a decade. But since they no longer had the rights to Bugs Bunny, they decided to use their Universal Studios license to create Woody Woodpecker's Crazy Castle 5 in all territories, even though there's no such thing as Woody Woodpecker's Crazy Castle 1 through 4. So let's give a brief recap. From 1989 to 2003, Kemco released games for the Crazy Castle series using the IPs for Roger Rabbit, Bugs Bunny, Mickey Mouse, Kid Clown, Yugo, the Ghostbusters, Garfield, and Woody Woodpecker. While some may call that amusing, and others may call it ridiculous, I think everyone could agree that it's very, very confusing. 
So that was just a brief overview of the Crazy Castle series to hopefully clarify any misinformation you may have had. And if you have an idea for what franchise I should cover next episode, please feel free to leave a comment below. So until next time, thanks for watching.